Uh, my next guest is, works right down the hall. He's got one of the most successful television shows on the air, NBC, of course, here on Thursday nights. And uh, we're delighted he to come out from doing his own show to come over and see us. Would you welcome, please, Flip Wilson. This is like uh, being what, back home for that's me. That's what it's all about, though, isn't that's it? Right. That's right. Yeah, it's good to see you. I feel great, too. Yeah. yeah. Did Ed tell you he was on the uh, show? The show will be aired this week? Yeah. When, the, this Thursday night? That's right. Coming Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Hasn't what? even been aired. We're getting letters already. <laughs> <laughs> Mail is rolling in. He, rolling plays in. A, he plays a pitch man, doesn't he? That's right. Yeah. Ed uh, shoots the grease to me. And you're in the audience? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One of the shows. I get uh, Like, it, it was a thing that uh, came about uh, from an improvisation that we did uh on the show a few years back when I was hosting it. Right. And uh, when Ed agreed to be on the show, I said, let's do that thing because it went so beautiful. There's a natural chemistry between Ed and I. Yeah. And it went great. Works well, good. he used to be, you know, he used to sell yes. uh, Morris Metric Slicers on the boardwalks yeah. in Atlantic yes. City. Yeah. That's right, Morris Metric Slicers. Yes. Get a good, a short... Uh, Forget about the $2 they were made to sell for. We're cutting the price in half to a dollar. And we're including the juice of <laughs> Watch what I do with this tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me, son. You yeah. bother me. <laughs> and you are in the audience and he... He's my yes. my, my foil, my mark. Yes. Yeah, you've had some great shows. Uh, you've had some I'm, I'm great funny shows. Please. Tell me who else is aboard. We also have another heavyweight coming up. Sammy Davis. Sammy Davis Jr. is on this train. Right. Billy Tomlin. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. So yeah. it's a uh, show. It's really a smoker. Are you about wrapped up for the season now? This think? week, this uh, I'm taping the last show. I'll be taping, and uh, we got a goodie. We have uh, Bing Crosby back. We have Tim Conway and Melba Moore. Uh huh. So any uh, names on the show? And the script. <laughs> the script is fantastic. That's great. So it's like a, like a racehorse. And you're through for the season. And yes, uh, but I have another project in mind. I'm going to take another ride this year. I'm oh, going to yeah. ride across the United States. I'm going to go down to Miami, up to New York, up to Canada, back across Canada, and back down to Los Angeles. And you drive all that way, don't you? Yes. And this year. Uh, last year, I did quite a bit of driving, and my project at the end of each day was to write ten funny lines. No. Uh, uh, but there were so many fantastic moments that I wasn't able to catch that this year I want to drive less. I'm taking a photographer with me, uh, and I'm taking uh, quite a few cassette tapes, and I'm going to take, I'm going to write a book about this summer. Yeah, that's groovy. You like and, the new uh, dig driving? I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's my release. It gets off my tension. I create a... In the mountains, in the desert, yeah. Can I go with you? <laughs> I'm going to be loaded. Because after you leave, I think we're sitting. We're in the building alone, right? Well, you're going to be my new neighbor starting uh, yeah. May first. Yeah, we're going to bring the show on. <laughs> I've got it on this. In the base there. And we're going to go back to uh, to New York periodically, like we do out here. We just thought we'd try it out here for a while, just to give the it show a little. Great. It'll give me a chance to uh, get with you. Doc and the guys, because I love this show. The show is, I think this show uh, contributed so much to the success of my show because it allowed me to, uh, the opportunity to establish my rapport yeah. with the audience. And uh, this show is my second home, my love. Well, you started on the show, and the funny thing was you were bumped, I think, two or three times. Five times. He was booked on the show. Five now, times. I don't know what you mean when I say bumped. We Something happened during the show. The yes. show got long, and I said, gee, I'm sorry. There's a young man who was supposed to be with us tonight by the name of Flip Wilson. And he didn't get on. Five times. And it went on like five times. Yes, but uh, also, in, in addition to that, uh, someone might generally say, well, wow, they would have assumed I would be neglected. But I was also mentioned that uh, in so many instances, uh, when I first started making television appearances, which were first on the show, uh, there was a transition that had to play, take place from my ultra-hip type of comedy yeah. prior. And uh, the writers... And the guys, the talent consultants that I work with on the show, work with me a lot, and they've devoted a lot of personal you attention had some far to out helping kinda... me develop the finesse to convey uh, my ideas. Because you had some audience. weird little things that would yeah. go out, yeah. and you connected. Them. What's the this? I hear about you being sued. Is this? Yeah, I is the uh, the uh, plaintiff. You're the no, no, I'm the defendant. Yeah, you're the suee. Yeah. Yes, suee. yes, that's right. You're the suee. Uh, I, yeah, know well, I know about that. I know about that. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Now I can't mention any names. You know, because the thing is in litigation. <laughs> uh, 
up when I'm being sued by uh, Mr. and Mrs. That old black magic kept me in the spell. Yeah, they whipping the black magic on me. <laughs> but uh, what's the case without well, going uh, into detail? See, I, I, I was the, uh, the lessee. <laughs> of a house for a year. Oh, yeah. And I had a nice little house, you know, but the house was too big for me. The only one was there with me and my bulldog. Yeah. You know, and the, uh, the, uh, plaintiff alleges that the defendant. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be very acquired careful. Acquired unto his personal use six caviar plates. Mm. You know, I don't know what a caviar plate looks like. <laughs> You know, I thought you ate caviar out of the can. You didn't. <laughs> you know, so uh, um, it's just ridiculous, but so, it's fun. So did they, you ripped off, or they say you ripped off? With yeah. It? yeah, and they still haven't sent me back my doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, court court actions are interesting. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. I'm innocent. <laughs> we can't take signs. I don't we have know to what be... a caviar plate looks like. Well, what does he fan you? It's a small it's a plate, small like plate. a little uh, demi-test uh, saucer. I, I don't know. I eat it out of the jar. <laughs> Everybody in my house who eats caviar eats it out of the jar. <laughs> so you move out, out of the house and you're in another... Yes, I'm another in another pan. house. Yeah. I'm getting ready to move, though. Again? No caviar plates. No caviar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll set them up. You're out in <laughs> You want six? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me do this, and then we'll come back. Uh, okay. Crazy George is with us tonight. Yes. One of your favorite guests, one of our favorite guests, That's too, is right. George Carlin, who is uh, cooking real good comedy-wise nowadays. Certainly. And uh, you two guys are going to do a little thing that you've done on your show. But we will do a word from a lady who cleans up after the best cooks in the world. What was the, the big article? I had a very good article on you. Was that... Uh, time. Time Magazine. Yes. yes. Cover. That's kind of the culmination of a nice thing to have the cover on time, isn't it? It uh, certainly was. You try to be real cool. I know when they profiled me a few years ago on time, and you try to be like, well, it's a cover, but secretly inside. Uh, well, say, I, hey, that's not bad. I wasn't uptight uh, because uh, I don't have anything I want to hide. I think that uh, uh, the story of how my success has come about has been a beautiful story. Yeah. And I think it's uh, an American story. And I want people to know. So uh, I've told my story. And I'm very pleased. And the American public has been fantastic to me. Yes, sir. Really? Now, we were talking about Crazy George. Um, and we, you, you two guys are going to work together. We can't do it in this half hour because it takes about eight, nine. Yes. Or we want to give you time to right. do stretch your out. thing, stretch out, and wait for the big laughs. Yeah. That's the reason we didn't have the time here. We, we left time for the laughs in a sketch. Uh, oh, normally, it would have been at 1230 by now, yes. but it's a little more time than we thought. Uh, he's got an album. I guess we're going to talk about this later. Yes, You're George's new album, uh, FM and AM. Yeah, this is not the first thing he's recorded, I know, because he came out with it as an album. No, this, he, this is the second album that he's had. This is four years later. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's on Little David Records, which is uh, my sounds, label. That sounds familiar. That's right. That's my label. Uh, and it's a guest. And I think it's... Uh, great because there's such a difficulty with comics in uh, explaining the difference in your views to someone who can't really understand, who might be the executive of a record company. With George and I, there's uh, George is different. He's, he writes his own material, and I can understand his creativeness, and my manager, Monty K. Yeah. And uh, this was an opportunity for George to feel freer as an artist, and for me to be a part of uh, maybe in some way helping a guy that I admire. Crazy. Let's get him out here. George Carlin. Hey, hey keep us on. How you doing tonight? What do you say? Okay. <laughs> Feeling all right. Yeah. We're going to have to do the other piece with you and flip uh, around the corner, sure as they say, okay. because we didn't have enough time here. Yeah. I was listening to this the other day. Crazy. Sure. You did this down to... Is this one you did down in Washington? At the, yeah. Uh, the cellar, cellar door. door. Right. Got some crazy things in here. It's... Uh, the, the nice thing is that... Um, and the thing we were talking about, about having a little freedom to do what you want on it. Four years ago, I did the only other album I did. And uh, it was on RCA. Yeah. And they're a lot more conservative, first of all. But also, it was four years ago. And my birth control routine 
No, they wouldn't allow it on an album. Oh, and on this album, it. George has the baby. Right. <laughs> We're progressing. We're progressing. Yeah, it's come so far that I was able to do the birth control thing on your television That's show right. last month, but not on an album four years ago. That's incredible. So I don't so realize how fast it's That's what changed. makes me happy about the album is that it really is an honest, you know, it's everything I have to tell right now, or about six months ago. One piece you have in here that kills me, and I guess there are lots of Sullivan stories. Everybody... All comedians like Sullivan, because first of all, he's a good audience, and everybody does him. But you do a bit in here. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of it here, because as you say, it's not its not how well you do Sullivan. Every guy at a party does Sullivan, right? Right. It's, uh, it's you just say big shoe, and everybody says, oh, gee, that's wonderful. But it's, it's taking the it's place different. of the lampshade at yeah. parties for men, the Ed <laughs> Sullivan impression. The idea being that everyone can do Ed Sullivan, even agents and managers can do him now. And I'm sure that somewhere in the world there's a bear that can do <laughs> And a good one. Yeah. Good one. Just from being on the show and watching Ed from the <laughs> League. <laughs> My idea is that it's easy to do a good Ed Sullivan by not worrying so much about the voice or the mannerisms. A lot of people waste time on the well, voice. Well, they get this and they have to do all that. That means easiest, nothing. That's the easiest part of it. The, the really hard part is to have crazy acts. The stranger the acts are you introduce, the better your Ed Sullivan will be, or seem, anyway. Now, right here on our show, just after Connie Francis and her tribute to former Newark Mayor Hugh Adnizio. <laughs> just after the Waltzing Mice and the Maori Fire Eaters. And immediately following, or is that just after? <laughs> during <laughs> the entire female population of Guadalajara will run out on our stage and yell out their brassiere sizes. <laughs> Now that I hear myself say them, there, you, you, there are even crazier things you can imagine uh, than that. I mean, the, the ultimate Ed Sullivan act to me was something like the Bronze Age. Oh, just, uh, I mean, maybe in serious, I, I often wanted to see them just sand the stage there and just varnish it one week for a whole hour. You know? Right here, right here, varnishing the stage. They, they did everything else. Yeah. He's crazy. So where are you working now? Um, college, you like college days, the concert. Yeah, so. that's, that's where I tried to, to change my direction to, and I have been able to do it, thanks to the exposure on both of your shows, right. by the way. The album's just coming out now, and that's going to help me, too. But uh, this past year, and trying to uh, find, uh, you know, those college and coffee house dates, being right. on uh, Flip Show and yours really helped, and that's, that's all I do now. Yeah. That's great. Can we uh, do a little commercial here, then we'll come back? You guys going to do a little newscast or something? Come yeah. on. Uh, bring yeah, us yeah, the latest things going on. Yes. Ooh. All righty. Hold up my beer. We'll be right back after this word from Budweiser, the king of beers. We are back now with Flip and George and Susan St. James will join us. All right, what are you guys going to do? Well, we had, uh, there's been such a fine response to our news, that uh, segment that we've done on the show, that George and I worked out a little news segment. We like to do you might call it the best of the news, which is impossible to think of even, isn't it? <laughs> yes. it's, it's, it's a little grim, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we'll it. here are Flip and George and the best of the news. <laughs> Well, good evening. It's 8 o'clock in Los Angeles. It's 9 o'clock in Denver. It's 10 o'clock in Chicago. In Newark, it's 4.42. <laughs> Time for the 11 o'clock report. Dan Wolf here. Howard Mann here with the Wolf Man Report. <laughs> For a few items on the human interest side of the news, here's a great story from New York. Friends, New York does have a heart. Three children today witnessed the miracle in Harlem. They saw the garbage collected. <laughs> and we also have, we'd like to take a moment here to pay a salute to gutsy little Chuck Yabaronowitzki, the 98-pound quarterback who yesterday played his first game against the Green Bay Packers. In lieu of flowers, his family requests <laughs> that donations be sent. Friends, there was another stick-up today at Mom's Barbecue Palace. The hold-up man made the customers strip naked and lie on the floor. Burglary wasn't reported for three days. <laughs> Over to you, Dan. Okay. Thank you, Howie. The San Diego Freeway was the scene of a freak accident today as three freaks in a camper crashed into six freaks in a van. <laughs> And the Nobel Prize in Mathematics has been won by a California professor who has discovered a new number. The number is Bleen. 
which he says belongs between six and seven. <laughs> South Vietnamese President Thieu has announced today he is entering the Florida primary as a Republican. <laughs> he feels that Vietnam should not be an issue. <laughs> Claims he inherited it from President Johnson. <laughs> On the medical front, researchers have discovered a new disease which has no symptoms. It is impossible to detect, and there's no known cure for it. <laughs> Fortunately, it's confined to New Jersey. <laughs> Take it away, Howie. Okay, this is Howie Howie here. We'd like to give you a few movie reviews of the past uh, picture season, we suppose we'd yeah. say that. Well, that'll be fine. That'll yeah. be just fine, Howie. <laughs> My vote for the best picture of 1971 goes to Carnal Knowledge, a movie that I personally rated G. In that movie, Anne Margaret certainly showed us a thing or two. <laughs> and proved once and for all she's not just a pretty face. We have another review here regarding the new movie Willard. The movie Willard is not doing well in ghetto theaters. <laughs> Patrons say if they want to see rats, they can stay at home. <laughs> and here's an item out of the uh, Miami International Airport. A man was arrested today at Miami International Airport for trying to fly Betty. <laughs> Betty's husband said he would prefer charges. <laughs> Over to you, Dan. Well, thank you. A uh, group of California holy men has formed a new religion which teaches that when you die, your soul goes to a car wash in Bakersfield. <laughs> also on the parapsychological beat, it was... <laughs> It was discovered today that famed medium Edgar Cayce was not really a medium after all. His family claims he was an extra large. <laughs> and in Washington today, consumer advocate Ralph Nader announced that the glue on postage stamps causes air sickness in chickens. <laughs> Famed television announcer Charlie the Tuna was found dead today of mercury poisoning. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Good news from the Far East. No one was killed in Vietnam this week. However, three people died of old age at the Paris Peace Talks. <laughs> There's nothing, friends, like a story that touches the heart. And this evening we have for you just such a story. Mary Brown, the mother of 12 children, and Charles Johnson, the father of 14 children, were married today. It was the first marriage for each. <laughs> Police today arrested George Whittington for stealing a new Cadillac from a downtown car lot. When apprehended, Whittington said the car didn't have a license, so he assumed it didn't belong to him. <laughs> the judge assumed that Whittington wouldn't mind 90 days. <laughs> and also, we have another item. Yes, we do. It's somewhere on here. We're looking for it. <laughs> Today, George Whittington, who keeps popping up in the news here... <laughs> was awarded $50,000 for a severe case of athlete's foot. Mr. Whittington's head was completely bandaged, which is where the athlete kicked him. <laughs> and we also have a late flash. A 101-year-old man, Count Gregor Labesi, was married today to a 19-year-old lady, Lolita Thompson. After the ceremony, he died when struck by a piece of rice. <laughs> Now, friends, we'd like to turn you over to our hippy dippy weatherman, Al Sleep. Hey, that was Henry. Great pleasure. Al Sleep, your hippy dippy weatherman, brought to you by Parsons Pest Control. If you have termites, water bugs, and roaches, <laughs> 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 
Parsons will get rid of the termites and water bugs and help you smoke the roaches. <laughs> Tonight's forecast, dark. <laughs> Continued mostly dark tonight, <laughs> turning to widely scattered light in the morning. <laughs> so long, back to you, Howie. And now, friends, it's time for the war scoreboard. What to you as a public service by men of goodwill everywhere. The war scoreboard is the only way to keep track of how you folks are treating one another. Eight civil wars. Six outside aggressions. Six internal upheavals. Ten counterinsurgencies. Twenty-one acts of sabotage. Thirty warlike acts. Nine hundred and six hostile incidents. Ten arms races. Eighteen deliberate provocations. Sixty-one threats to national security. Nine dangerous escalations. Two military confrontations. Sixty-two heightenings of tension. Twenty-four heated exchanges. Twelve belligerent moves. Seventeen reprisals. Three powder kegs. And two tinderboxes. And an ultimatum. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll return after this message from one of our sponsors. It's a funny bit, guys. It really is. Thank you. Thank you. Good funny stuff in there. What was that one about the weather report? Continually what? Uh, tonight's forecast, dark. Dark. To continued dark tonight. <clears throat> like that. It's important to remember. Yes. <laughs> this, this next gal is one of television's most popular young actresses. For several seasons, she was... Uh, Peggy Maxwell on The Name of the Game, and currently she is uh, starring as Rock Hudson's wife on Macmillan and Wife. This is her first time on The Tonight Show, for some reason. Would you welcome Susan St. James?
Xin chào các mọi người và hôm nay bên em về một chiếc Hyundai Accent xe sản xuất 2019 bản 1.4 số tự động xe này bản tiêu chuẩn mọi người nhé không phải bản đặc biệt đâu và xe này thì phiên bản màu trắng em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe cho mọi người cùng xem con xe này thì nó cũng bị hơi bị uh, bốc sinh một chút vào đến phần uh, sắt xi túi khí đã bu vì vậy là giá của em nó là tầm tiệm cận 400 triệu Tuy nhiên là nó chưa đến 400 triệu là cho một chiếc xe rất là đẹp như này Tuy nhiên trước khi báo giá thì chuẩn thì em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe cho mọi người cùng xem Đấy các bạn có thể thấy lốp la răng rất là mới 2019 thì từ lúc Covid thì không đi được nhiều Đấy xe thì Đây năm cửa thì đã mạ của Rome xin nha tích hợp của chân gương rồi Lốp la răng rất là mới và đẹp Đấy các bạn có thể thấy rằng bên em về rất nhiều xe nhé Đấy các bạn có thể thấy Đối tượng Hyundai Accent Xe rất đẹp đấy. Con này hơi đáng tiếc một chút là nó bị bị nỗi Tuy nhiên là bên em đã khắc phục rồi Nhưng mà mọi người cứ đến xem xe trực tiếp Vì là bây giờ ví dụ như chỗ này đang, đang bị, hơi bị xước một chút sơn này, Nhưng mà quay lên video các bạn không thể nào nhìn thấy được vì vậy là chúng ta các bạn đến trực tiếp để em mở lắp cabo cho mọi người cùng xem xem là nỗi thế thì nó đến đâu và có chấp nhận được không đấy sau đó thì mới giao dịch không nhận cọc trước đấy không rất nhiều bạn thì nhận cọc xong thì các bạn bắt đầu bảo là xe nỗi hơi nặng với các kiểu rất là mệt và bây giờ thì em sẽ quay về nội thất bên trong đấy đầu tiên là hàng ghế trước hàng ghế trước thì các bạn có thể thấy rằng là vô lăng đã được bọc và cần số thì đấy cần số rất là đẹp ghế hàng ghế chính lái thì đã được đệm một lớp rồi ra ghế rất mới hàng ghế sau cũng vậy rất là ra ghế rất là mới điều hòa phía sau vì là xe bản tiêu chuẩn nhưng không phải không có cửa lóc vì vậy là ở phần trần đã được dán 3D rất là đẹp đấy những xe chỉ có vậy thôi rất là đẹp đây đóng cửa đều ốp mạng của Rome hết rồi đèn hậu rất là sáng nha đẹp này. nhìn xem để so giữa dòng uh, Asen với cái dòng uh, Vai ớt cùng phương hoạng B với City con Asen là rẻ nhất và nói chung kiểu dáng tôi cũng thấy nó khá là ưng thực ra con City thì của Honda thì cũng ưng hơn nhưng mà nó đắt và Asen là nếu mà giá phổ thông nhất ấy. còn Hyundai thường thường giá cạnh tranh đấy nói chung là xe thì chỉ có vậy thôi các bạn đến xem xe trực tiếp chốt được thì nói với em em quay rất là chi tiết rồi tuy nhiên là bên trong thì về phần máy móc thì các bạn phải đến xem trực tiếp và em sẽ phải lấy điện pin em soi chứ nếu mà nói mồm thế này thì mới lại quay thì không thể nào mà chi tiết được các bạn nhé và nói chung là chiếc xe này thì bên em ra bán là 390 triệu Đó. nói chung là nếu mà cả tiền rút hồ sơ À, cả tiền làm sang tên nữa thì chắc phải tầm lên 5 đến 7 triệu nữa là chung một lần các bạn có chuẩn bị tầm 395 triệu đến 400 triệu cả tiền đi lại nữa các bạn đi lại nữa để chọn chuẩn bị như thế một chiếc mà nó bị nỗi mà nó cũng như vậy thì giá bên em thì cũng ra bán một mức giá phù hợp thôi xe này không phải giá rẻ nhé chứ nếu mà xe mà xe ngon thì đương nhiên là thua giá này mà xe đã bị đâm rồi thì giá này là nếu mà nhiều người người ta cũng cần cẩn thận người ta cũng không mua Đấy, các bạn cứ đến xem xe ở bên em mà ghim phần bình luận đã bán là xe không còn nữa Còn nếu em chưa ghim gì thì xe vẫn còn Các bạn cứ chú ý Còn uh, ai mua thì đến lại sớm với em Và xin uh, chào tất cả mọi người
Thank you.